welcome to Mama Ruth's house. I'm so glad you stopped in. This morning, I am making some breakfast burritos, and um, we are going to be using the lower sodium ham. the fat-free cheddar. Um, we're gonna be using some salsa, uh, condiments, light sour cream if you'd like that. You can add pretty much whatever you want. Uh, we are going to be using the tortillas that are the carb balanced tortillas. So for one of these, it's about six points the way we're making them if you're doing Weight Watchers, if you're following that plan. So with that being said, let's get going. Let's get cooking. Oh, first I have to show you. My dear friend Nick, for my birthday, at my party when I was 60, they had a station where everybody made aprons. And Nick made this wonderful apron. I don't know if you could see all the little things he put on there. So I want to thank him for that. Little shout out to him. I'll put you down so you can see what we're doing. I got my pan heating up on my, my little hot plate. So we're just going to add some canola oil in here. It's not oil, but canola spray. And take it off the heat and add it. I'm going to do a generous amount because we're going to be frying some potatoes in there. I just got some cubed frozen hash browns. Put those in there. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. And we'll get those going. That's what our first um, plan will be. Just going to kind of get them started, and then I'm going to add some other ingredients. Well, they smell good already. Actually, I think I'm going to spray the top a little bit with some oil, some of that uh, spray, oil, canola oil spray. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. It's a Sunday morning. I have my coffee in my plant lady cup that my daughter gave me for my birthday. I'm enjoying some lovely Cog Hill Farm pumpkin spice coffee. It's delicious. And I will put their link in be below because it is phenomenal. I also, I haven't tried it yet, but we have the dark roast as well. I'm going to add some diced onions to this. I'm not going to put all of it, but just a little bit. Some bell pepper I grew in my garden. Now, I have some jalapenos, and I'm going to put those on the side. Um, my husband's not a fan of that, so we're not going to, I'm not going to subject him to that. This is a pretty simple breakfast. These cook pretty quickly. You could also um, make, you know, just peel a potato and put it in there as well. While these are cooking, I'm going to start my 
eggs in this one. And I'm going to be using the spray butter flavor. I have a little seasoned four eggs that I'm going to just go ahead and put in here as it's cold because I, I'm going to make it like that. It's morning here in California. And I appreciate that you guys came here and, and to, came, uh, stopped in and to spend some time with me. A little trick if you don't want to add um, oil, you can always add a little bit of water to this if you see that it's um, dry. But I'm going to be adding some ham and I might add just a little bit of water. Get our vegetables in there softened up and I'm going to add a little bit of onion powder and a little bit of garlic powder. And go ahead and add some ham on top of that. That's three slices of that ham, which is one point. You can also put the ham, uh, saute it in the pan. Uh, on this side before you put the eggs and then put the eggs in there it's totally up to you it doesn't really matter it's all going in the same place because these are breakfast burritos so it is just fine to mine i'm going to add the jalapenos i'm going to add some raw onion when i i make mine up and um some tomatoes. I enjoy the tomatoes in there as well. And the tomatoes are from my garden too. I'm gonna not stir this now. I'm just going to let it sit there for a minute while our eggs are cooking. You can use whatever meat you'd like. Just make sure you count it if you're following the Weight Watcher plan. They have turkey sausage that you could put in there, or you can have no meat at all and just add some extra veggies, like um, mushrooms or, and I would just put the tomatoes in there and you can put some spinach. This a little flip. You're just heating the hams cooked already anyway, so you're just kind of heating it up in there. I'm going to turn this off over here. Just get, let it keep going. I don't want to overcook my eggs. I 
I just put a little salt and pepper in my eggs. I didn't put any water or any, anything else. I just, the eggs, that's it. So you can see these will keep cooking a little bit over here. Probably will make four. Uh, and it might even be a few less points. I will make sure I adjust it. I was going to only make two um, breakfast burritos, but this looks like it would probably make four. So we'll, uh, I'll adjust the points accordingly. So I always like to warm my tortillas just a tad, probably like 10 seconds in the microwave. Um, to me, it makes them a little more pliable, easier to use. So I'm going to take my tortilla out, put it in there for about 10 seconds. Blade out here. You can see that, I think. I'm going to turn this off. Give it another flip. You can cook it however you want. If you want them a little bit um, a browner, you know, or whatever, however you'd like it. So I'm just going to throw some of this mixture on my burrito. Yeah, I think four. I think this would make four easily. Then we'll put a quarter of the eggs on there. And this one will be my husband's. So I'm going to just put some sour cream and some salsa. Just a little bit of salsa in there. And put some cheese. This is that fat-free cheese. It looks like this, the fat-free cheese. Put some of this on here. Sometimes I actually grill the um, tortillas, but you know, as after they're um, assembled, but you don't have to. Put a little bit of sour cream on there. And I'm going to turn that so I don't hit it. So with the, I usually do it long ways. Then I fold the sides first. And then I'm going to assemble our tortilla. And you kind of squish it in while you're doing it. And there you go. I'm going to go ahead and give this one to him. All right. I got the second one. This one I'm going to add. And some of the egg. And then I'm going to put some cheese. You can put however much you'd like. Just count it. Make sure it, it's counted. Put a little bit of sour cream. I'm just going to kind of dollop it around. A little bit of salsa. You could use whatever kind you'd like. I'm going to put a few raw onions on mine, a little bit of jalapenos on mine. It's going to be big. It always is. 
and a few tomatoes. Now I'm going to squish it together. All right, so this is how it looks. We're going to lift you up so you can see, and then we're gonna taste it. Mm. All those flavors meld together. This is super yummy, super quick, a wonderful breakfast. You can serve this with a little bit of fruit or uh, no sugar added applesauce. And there you go with my coffee. And I wanna thank you so much for joining me today. And until next time, make a fantastic day.